Zelensky delivers an address to U.S. Congress, no compromises with Russia. President Volodymyr Zelensky stood with Joe Biden as a billion-dollar USA deal was revealed. The two stood in front of their respective flags on Mr. Zelensky's first international travel since Vladimir Putin attacked his country in February of this year. Mr. Biden said they'd been in frequent contact since the Ukraine crisis began in February, but meeting in person and seeing each other in the eye was especially good. He said Putin had raised his violent attacks on Ukraine and that what he was doing was awful. He described Ukraine's victories in the fight as the Battle of Kyiv, the Battle of Kherson, and the Battle of Kyiv. According to Mr. Biden, the $1.85 billion package includes direct supplies of equipment to Ukraine as well as contracts to supply ammunition that Ukraine will require in the months ahead for its artillery, tanks, and rocket launchers. Patriot surface-to-air missiles are included in the package, which Mr. Zelensky claims would substantially boost Ukraine's air defenses and is a very important step toward creating secure airspace. Mr. Biden spoke at a press conference 300 days after the invasion started that Russia was purposely attacking the Ukrainian people during the coldest portion of the year, isolating them from one another and enabling them to freeze. He said he had not discussed at all with Mr. Zelensky the question of whether supplying Patriot missiles may prompt Russian escalation, and highlighted that it is a defensive weapon. The Patriot missile defense system was described by Ukraine's president as a very important step toward creating secure airspace. Mr. Zelensky, who claimed he couldn't find the right words to describe Russia, called them terrorists and inhuman, adding that they must be held responsible for the invasion and that he was extremely grateful to the U.S. and other allies of the Ukrainian war effort. The U.S. president stated that he has never seen NATO or the EU more united on anything, and I see no evidence of any change. He went on to say that if Putin had any dignity at all, he would have withdrawn from the fight by now. The visit comes as legislators prepare to vote on a year-end spending plan that includes $45 billion in emergency aid for Ukraine. Mr. Zelensky was greeted at the White House by Vice President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden, whom he had not seen in person since Russia invaded Ukraine. Mr. Zelensky informed the U.S. President before the news conference that it was a wonderful honor to be there and thanked Mr. Biden and the common people of America for their support. The Ukrainian President then presented Mr. Biden with a medal stating that a soldier from Bakhmut had asked him to present the U.S. president with his military medal. Mr. Zelensky, the United States stands with the people of Ukraine, we stand with you, you've been a tremendous leader, Mr. Biden said, adding that the Ukrainian people have inspired the world with their fortitude and resilience. Ukraine's president reminded House of Representatives lawmakers, some of whom are opposed to sending taxpayer money to the war-torn country, that Vladimir Putin's danger remains strong. Both the Ukrainian president's party and the opposition agree that Ukraine requires military assistance to repel the invaders. The massive package that Congress is about to vote on would be the largest American infusion of aid to Ukraine to date, exceeding even Biden's $37 billion emergency request, and would ensure that funding will continue to flow to the war effort for months to come. Donald Trump Jr. used the occasion to trash Ukraine's president, calling him an ungrateful international welfare queen as Mr. Zelensky tries to gain the military help that many analysts believe is critical to Ukraine's survival. According to Zelensky's Twitter account, the visit, his first known journey outside his country since the crisis began in February, was made to strengthen Ukraine's resilience and defense capabilities and to discuss collaboration with the states. The highly sensitive trip came after 10 months of a terrible war in which tens of thousands of people were killed on both sides and thousands of civilians were killed. Zelensky's secret visit to Washington came at the same time as Russia's defense minister, Sergei Shuigu, proposed expanding the Russian military to 1.5 million service members. The initial goal was 1.15 million. Mr. Zelensky was on his way outside following a courageous and dangerous expedition to what he called the hottest place on the 800-mile front line of the battle. On Tuesday, the city of Bakhmut in Ukraine's contested Donetsk province was bombed. He lauded Ukrainian forces for their courage, resilience, and strength while artillery blasted in the background. Mr. Zelensky entered Poland on his route to Washington, according to TVN24, Poland's commercial television. The broadcaster aired a video of Mr. Zelensky arriving at a train station and being taken to a motorcade. On Wednesday morning, Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky presented a banner carrying autographs from soldiers on the battlefield to U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. During his address to Congress, Mr. Zelensky said soldiers in Bakhmut urged him to give her the flag, which he did with a kiss on the cheek. Ms. Pelosi was then seen with Vice President Kamala Harris waving the flag. In exchange, 
House Speaker Nancy Pelosi presented Zelensky with a folded U.S. flag that had flown over the Capitol on Wednesday. Members of Congress applauded Zelensky and gave him a standing ovation. For more information please subscribe to my channel.